This is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And I have decided to make the trek over to Gillum's Fishing Resorts. I've only been here a couple of times, and I have managed to catch some really, really huge fish in this particular lake. The conditions for catching them are very difficult because you're not allowed to use barb hooks nor are you allowed to use treble hooks. So these guys are very tough to pull in, but that's for the protection of the fish. The idea is to catch these big monsters and let them go. But we are going to come in here and see what we can catch today. Based on what I have done in the past, I've been able to master being able to bring the big ones in, even without having 80-pound tests. Now let's go ahead and see where the best place to start would be. I think I'm going to start over here at the left side or the west side of the little lake. It's not huge. See this place is mainly designed for people to come here and fish for fun. And that's why the fish are released to be caught again. At least that's the hope. If you can manage to bring these monsters in. But anyway, we're going to see what we have here in our gear. I think I've got my exotic mix still set up, but I may need to do some adjustments here because this was set up for other things. Let me see here. Yes, we need to make, we've got the right kind of hooks here. None of them have barbs. And we have 40 pound test, that'll handle it. Honestly, what we have may work perfectly fine. I uh, haven't decided whether or not I'm going to try to use a some lure fishing while I'm doing this. I might. Just might. Because there are some... The species here will go for some of them. But I think I'm going to change this one out if that's the case. Let's see what we got here. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Let's see, I got medium range, fast. Let's go with the Haichu Trophy Hunter. Spinning. Alright, and we are going to grab us. I'll tell you what they really like, guys. There should be some buzz baits here. This green booyah buzz has been very, very popular with these particular fish. So let's go ahead and claim our peg here. This is as good a place to go as any, right at the very beginning. Lots of places to cast and throw. They'll bite just about anywhere. There's not really any particular spot I've found that does better than another so much. But let's go ahead and get our other two rods out here. We've got whole fish on these, so hopefully that'll get some attention. I think this has a whole mackerel on it. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get this cast. Whoa, that sucked. Sometimes, though, when it goes haywire like that, it actually doesn't cast too bad. And that's not too bad. <laughs> I do know I want to cast over here. I've always caught quite a bit over here, and I think I've got a roach on this one. I think I need to get this off the rocks, though. There we go. 
And let's see what we can do with the buzz bait. That'll keep us occupied while those two sit there. I think I'll start over here and see what happens. I'm going to take my reel speed down. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun for me. I wish they had it in the catch, but I think they do later on as you progress into the game. This came with one of the DLCs, so I didn't have to do that. Oh, look at that. Check him out. I don't know if he was interested in that or not, but he sure looked cool. That, I believe, was an Arapaima. I just caught a little sight of his tail, which is usually the red in color. And those guys they get big. I thought I had... Okay, we got activity here. Number three. Yeah, this spot, Gisorio Bestie and uh, the one that's in Peru, you can get some of the biggest fish ever. Supposedly you can at the Spain one in regards to the catfish, but catfish are a heck of a lot harder to find. I had more luck catching bass and um, Xander there than anything else, really. And the occasional carp. Okay, I have no idea what this is going to be here, guys, but... We'll get him in. Let's put a little more pressure on him, though, first. I think this is a carp of some kind. Let me adjust my mic there so you can hear a little better. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think... Oh, no, this is a catfish. Red-tailed catfish. They get big, too. Just about everything in here gets big, honestly. I'm not sure there is any small fish in this particular lake. Yeah, he's going to take me a minute to get in here. I have not pulled any trophies out of this lake, though. That is so far eluded me. Be nice if I could change that in this session. <laughs> Boy, this guy, he's... He doesn't even care. He's just cruising... You can bet you're going to be fighting these guys for a while. That's actually not too bad of a fight. Yeah, see, he's he's not bad. I mean, I know that sounds ridiculous at 47 pounds. But, you know, these guys, they get really big. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what a trophy size is, but I've caught them about twice this size. All right, let's throw another one of those out there. Let's see, it was on this side, wasn't it? Let's throw it out a little bit further. And that's a good spot, right there. Let's grab our rod here. Ooh, 100%. 100%. There we go. Well, number two. I think this was a whole roach, maybe? Or mackerel? I 
Ah, I think we got something different here. Good. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Haven't got a good enough look at him yet. If it's another catfish, I think we will try to change the time. That way we can get some different looks at different species. Come on, big fella. I see one swimming around right there. I think he's bigger than the other one, but I'm not 100% certain. The other one's 47. And he's about the same size. He's 61, though. Okay, he is bigger. That was off a of roach, just so you know. Yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and close this peg. And I think we're going to come back in the morning. Yeah, let's come back in the morning and see if... Uh, afternoon. We'll go with afternoon. <laughs> I can't decide. Anyway, we'll go back in the afternoon. I think we'll go on the other side over there on that side. Just to see if a change of pace might help. Alright guys, here we are back. And I'm going to go over here to the east side this time. It is sunset. Thought I'd give a different little time sequence to see if anything changes. But there's like this little... I don't know what you would call it, lagoon <laughs> or something over here. Hopefully I can set up camp right here. I think this is considered a peg. No, I guess not. Well, shoot. <laughs> Let's try walking down here, see if there's anything on this side. I know there's another place to fish. Along here somewhere. It's just that I want to get somewhere close to that. Okay, this has got to be one. Yeah, see, there we go. I see that little area right there that really has got my interest peaked. And I'm going to go ahead and claim this. And we're going to try fishing over there. And there's another spot over there that looks kind of interesting to me too. But that little thing that feeds guess oxygen in the water that might prove to be quite helpful <laughs> I guess but let's go ahead and see if we can't attract something a little different I'm gonna keep the uh, macro on number three I think I'm gonna change the roach here we're gonna see if we can't get some of these big carp here guys Hmm. The pop-up tiger nuts always really do well. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. Keep the mackerel. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind. We're going to try the mackerel heads. Then be a little stinkier. Okay. I'm going to keep the buzz bait on there. Let's throw these macro heads right out front of us. And number three, we're going to cast... I'm going to try to get over there close to that aerator there. See, I wanted to get over there because there's like another little area. Oh boy. That was not quite where I wanted. Okay, there we go. Yeah, right there. Kind of close. All right. All right. Looks like we got a bite on something else, though. Number three. Well, there's a lot of things swimming around here. Now, what 
was this? Was this the pop-up Tiger Nuts? I think it is, actually. Can't remember <laughs> how I set it up there. Might have been number two. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was number two. Come on. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's big. It's gonna keep me busy. More tension. Another red-tailed cat. I am... Isn't it? Yeah. He's a little pale for red tail, but it is a red tail. I think he's a lot bigger than the other two were. Come on, big fella. Yeah, this fella's a lot bigger. Yeah, unlike bass that rely on their ability to flip and jump and all that kind of stuff, these guys rely more on just sheer muscle and size. Yeah, he was holed up in that little cove right there, and he... Didn't have a care in the world. There we go. We got him. Yeah, he's real pale. Look how pale he is. Almost an albino. 79 pounds. And I reached level 42. Not bad. Yeah, he. I think he is albino, honestly. I believe his eyes are red. It's hard to tell though. I wish you could position him a little bit so you could get a better look, but yeah, he looks like he's on a bino. Hmm. Alright. That's cool. I'm gonna throw it right back over there, because that is Well <laughs> Good thing this thing doesn't get snags. There we go. There's the Tennessee Shed. Uh-oh. We got some activity. Number two. As soon as I changed it, I'll be damned. This is off the scent from hell, guys. <laughs> I love that. Scent from hell. There's the scent from heaven, too. It supposedly smells fruity or something like that. This smells like, well, you know. And number three, damn, getting some good activity here, guys. Shoot, I'll probably end up losing number three, but I want to see what's on the scent from hell. That I got to see. I just got to see it. Even if it's not big. Oh, come on, big guy. Are you another cat? Can't tell yet. I think so. Another pale one, too. I'm getting pretty much cats. That kind of makes sense. I mean, if it smells bad, you're going to get a catfish. Come on. Some of the mixtures when I was a kid, 
that we used to come put together, chicken livers were always the best thing to go after these guys. And we used to set them out in the sun and let them get nasty smelling. Stinkier the better. But I remember there was a... I heard a tale. I don't know if anyone actually did this or not. I never tried it myself. But... I was told... That a kid, his father had a concoction that he met, would put together for catfish. That was absolutely atrocious. Yeah, he's another pale one. 58 pounds, and we are going up quick here. Let's go ahead and grab this guy on number three real quick before he gets away. Anyway, the concoction this guy put together, apparently, he would take chicken livers, earthworms, like old tuna fish, and then he would put it in a jar. Mix all this up, put it in a jar. Then he'd set the jar outside in the sun in the summertime all day long. And he would leave it out in the sun until everything inside basically liquefied. <laughs> Actually, from what I understand, you could put anything in there, but that's what he had said he used. And then what he would do is he would get some of that real dense foam, cut it into squares. And when he got to where he was going to go fishing, he would take and put the, that, the, one of those pieces of foam on the end of a hook. And then he would open up that jar cautiously I would imagine <laughs> and he would toss well he'd have the hook attached to you know a line or whatever but he would dip it in this stuff until it's completely soaked the sponge and he said it would catch catfish every time now I have no proof of this. I never had the guts to try it, <laughs> but I had, you know, I've got to believe that had to really reek. But it sounds like something a cat would go for. That's for damn sure. Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up the red tails today, guys. I don't know if it's the timing, the hooks I'm using, something. You know, the bait. I have a feeling if I switch over to corn, that might change a few things. Here we go, guys. Yeah, he's not bad. How big is he? 63 pounds? And... Daggone, I am so close to f level 43, it's not even funny. Yeah, this one has... I was going to say, what the heck? There's nothing out there. Let's see, this one has sent from hell. So we are going to change that. We're going to put the sweet corn on there, the double. See if we can't get something other than what we're getting here. I don't know what this... Banofi? Hmm. Huh. Well, the tiger nuts didn't do anything much. Let's just put a... Yeah, let's put the Banofi on there. See if we can't get us a big old carp of some kind. 
All right, guys, looks like number three is now going again. Can't remember which what I have on there, honestly. <laughs> All right, we need to increase the tension a little bit. Still nothing off of that spinning rod. quite figured out when the arapaima bite the most. Alright, this fish is not so much as getting budged. I'm afraid if he goes around that bend, he's gonna get stuck. Okay, he's going to play that little game. All right, come on. <laughs> we are going to get you. Ah, it was looking a lot like a catfish again. That is pretty much the fish of the day. I have not caught another kind. But I'm not sure that it's a red tail. He is big, though. If he is a red tail, he might actually be a trophy. Darn close to it. Alright, we got him. We got him, finally. Well, saying the net. <laughs> Get in here, damn it. Well, I didn't know they could do that. Shoot, this guy is running again, and he was supposedly caught. <sighs> Lord. All right, finally. Holy crap, no, that is not a red tail. Level 43, Mekong Catfish. I have not caught one of these guys. Caught him off the Banoffee, which is, that, I assume, coffee-flavored. And 224 pounds, 5 ounces. And he's not a trophy. <laughs> he's not. He's not a trophy. Monsters, just regular. Holy crap. That's a big fish. 67, over five feet long. Man. Well, definitely been getting the catfish here. Let's just see if we can't get one more. I was glad we got something a little different, though. Not gotten one of those before. He's not naturally my personal best since he was the only one I've ever caught, but... I have noticed that nothing has been biting on that over the rocks, so that could be an issue. Alright, looks like we got one on number three again. This is off the tuna. Kind of half expected to get something off the mackerel, not this, but...
Okay, he's finally realizing he's caught. I gotta keep him from getting over there. It's a little harder for him to, but not impossible. Okay. There we go. Finally. Yeah, see if I could walk with this, I could just walk down that way and walk right up to him. But it's the one thing I win this game I wish they had the capability of. Okay, he's fighting back now a little bit there. Yeah, once you get fixed to a spot, that's where you stay. Where is he going? Been fighting this guy for a while here, guys. He is. He keeps going back off in that little area over to the right. I think there's like a little cove over there. I was afraid there'd be another snag spot. But so far, there he goes again. He's trying to get there again. I'm trying to keep him over on this bank if I can. I'm hoping I can at least get a look at him here. I have no idea what this fish is. Oh wow, another red fin. <laughs> another albino red fin. Damn, he's big. Personal best of the red tailed catfish, guys. Wow, 94 pounds, 6 ounces. I tell you. Been definitely doing the catfish today, I tell you. Must be the sunset. That's all I can figure. Well, anyway, guys, we've been out here a while. I think it's time we call this a close. We're going to be back here again. I think this time we're going to go on sunrise and see what we can do then. And then I think I might try some night fishing because there are carp in here, doggone it. I'm going to catch them. And the Paku are in here as well. Got to figure out where the heck those guys are. They are in here somewhere. Anyway, guys, until next time, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.